I am getting excited. Great okay. pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying in there. <laughs> oh, sequence effects, folks. Sequence effects have to do with what happens when you kind of do either multiple interventions or uh, multiple phases of an experiment. Um, let me give you an example first, and we can back up and look at the effect. So for years, I worked on uh, an intervention at the college level to uh, reduce risky behavior or high-risk behavior, right? So in other words, increasing condom use, decreasing drug use, and you know, all sorts of things, risky behavior, right? So our intervention was 16 weeks long, and each week you had a different sort of component, right? And the order in which you presented those could possibly change the effectiveness of the program as a whole. So if I put behavioral control stuff up front um, and taught people about behavior, that might have a different thing than a different effect on behavior overall than putting the component or the, the component, the sequence on, uh, um, what do you call it, on STIs and STDs up first. You know, So we, we manipulated those. We did an experiment and we tried to put them in different orders to see which one had more effectiveness um, on overall behavior, the reduction of risky behavior. So the point is though, that sequence effects matter. The order in which you present um, interventions can change the effectiveness of the interventions by themselves overall because they depend on each other. So anyway, it's all there's to it. Sequence effects.